problem number 11, we need to find the zeros of a rational function. So, whenever you have a rational function, and you're asked to do pretty much anything with it, you always want to try to factor things first. So here's our rational function, so we always want to try to factor. So our numerator factors into x plus 5 times x minus 2. Our denominator factors into x plus 2, x minus 2, because that's the difference of two squares. So if you want to find the zeros, we're asked, we want to find where is the numerator equal to zero. Well, the one thing you want to be careful about is we're, we, we can cancel out x minus 2 before we answer that question. And you need to do that before, because even though 2 would have made the top 0 here, since it made the bottom 0 also, it's not a 0 of the rational function. So what we're left with is x plus 5 over x plus 2, where x is not equal to 2, because that was the whole that we got rid of. So now, what are the zeros of this function? Well, that's whenever the top is equal to 0, and that would simply be when x is equal to negative 5. So always make sure you factor and cancel as much out as you can before you start to answer those questions.